to my YouTube fans, um, going on my um, third week with the um, FlexMax 80. I finally broke down and bought the FlexMax 80. So that is what I have on my battery system. I had the Entronic before. My brother came in, saw the Entronic, and he liked it. And I wanted to upgrade, so um, I sold him the, the uh, Entronic and went up to the end uh, Flex Max 80. Um, apart from the 121 days programming, you know, um, data login, in terms of everything else, the uh, Entronics is just as good. But uh, I'm still happy though. Yeah, but that's my new system. And um, as planned, I'm here now trying to enclose this whole area here it's going to be my sunroom so this is my project i've been working on and um, these are all 12 volts um, led lighting that i'm using here in my sunroom for night when we are outside here um, but i can't complain wires everything here is done now this is just temporary right here for the time being i just put it there for the time being but anyway all my wire insulation and everything here on the side is all finished finally i still got to go up there and finish one more leg of wire um this is a 12 volt switch for these light in here it's going to be for 12 volt to feed the outside as well as for my battery configuration, I changed my battery con configuration. I had um, 12 battery wired in um, series parallel bank of two so it was um two batteries wire in series two battery so i changed all of that so what i did i have a total of 12 deep cycle golf cart battery so what i did on this bank here i wired everything here six batteries in parallel so six batteries are wired in parallel that is six volts they are six volts each and i have six of them wired in parallel over here six of them wire in parallel as well and then I series it to make it a 12 volt so 12 batteries 12 golf cart batteries and originally I had them series series parallel series parallel series parallel series parallel so I changed the configuration and um, now it's one six volt bank here one six volt bank over here series together to make one big 12 volt on my charge controller i have um, a 100 amp breaker on the charge con controller over here on my samlik inverter i have a 250 amp breaker over here um, as stated upstairs in the house is wired for low voltage all the rooms, there are four bedrooms, two bathrooms upstairs, and uh, they're all wired for low voltage. So right over here, I have a 150 amp breaker that's taken in 12 volts through the attic to feed the upstairs bedrooms and bathrooms. So that's my system, and uh, the battery seems to charge much better this way as well, versus how I had them before. As for charging my batteries, I have a total As for charging my batteries, I have a total of um, 1400 watts on my uh, Outback charging my batteries And um, this is still saying the same 600 watts grid tie 
600 watt grid tie and uh, whenever the battery goes over into a float then it goes over here diverts over here and grid tie as well so that's what's going on YouTube um, but like I say Flex Max 80 pretty nice pretty nice unit um, I paid I think it's about 526 uh, or 5 40 I paid for it and um, I'm on my third week with it and um, this is it's fine I can't complain uh, comparing to the uh, Intronics the difference is 121 uh, data login that's all and you could uh, what should I say um, yeah 131 days data login for everything else I could it could be done on the um, Intronics so I still promote Intronics and I still recommend Intronics anyway um, Flexmax speak for itself don't, does not need any promotion behind it speaks for itself but in my flex max here I have um, zero gauge I have zero gauge wire coming from the flex max to the battery and I have four gauge from the panel breaker to the uh, flex max but uh, apart from that I honestly can't complain uh, my plan uh, is going on I spent yesterday Sunday doing my enclosure here from my certain room so that's what you know also part of my project and um, I'm gonna put a deck here to go across v-shape one over here to go across to over here and um, but as time go on I'm gonna add six more hundred watts of solar panel to the roof from energy but um i did this work yesterday uh, me and the um, the kids and and uh, my wife i'm not a carpenter i'm a mechanic by trade i'm a certified bmw technician but um yeah i did this all by myself me and the wife and the kids So there it is. That's gonna be my sunroom. And that's some of my solar panel on top you're looking at. So there they are. And um as for the uh, the harbor freight 90 watt panel set I used to have right there, I did went ahead and take it down. Here it is. That's my Harbor Freight. Two sets of Harbor Freight sitting right here. I took off the roof. I'm going to move it over. It's going to go over there with the rest of Harbor Freight panel to charge the, um, the lights for, the, um, for my trees and so forth and so on. But that's my project. Anyway, YouTube. I'm also um, grilling at the same time, so but I can't complain. And here, flip my switch. There it is. Anyway, talk to you again, YouTube.